Boys and girls, hello and welcome to this math test review. We are preparing for our test in topic two. And if it would help you if you could take out your recent work on pages 85 and 86. This uh, was assigned and it should already have been finished. So if you have these pages, great. If you don't, why don't you pause and see if you can take them out. You may be Maybe you have them in a folder or they're still in your book, of course, in your textbook. Okay, pages 85 and 86. If you don't have them, that's fine. You can still learn something from this review. Okay, here we go. Okay, so some of the vocabulary. Of course, we have the word array. We have rows, columns, repeated addition, and blank rows of blank. So, for example, if we have three rows of five, okay, we set up our three dots. The, even though it looks like a column, we're actually setting up three rows, and then we're putting five in each one. So there's one row of five, there's two rows of five, and there's three rows of five. Okay, there are three rows and there are five items in each row. Okay, so there's one. There's two. And there's three. Now we could also say five columns of three, like this. There's one, two, three, four, And that's five, okay, five columns of three. And all of that makes our array. And we can show this with repeated addition by doing three plus three plus three plus three plus three equals 15, okay? And we've got five threes because there's a set of three in each column, okay? And that should be pretty clear to everybody right now. And of course, the other way we could do this would be five plus five plus five, okay? Because we have three rows of five. There's one there, there's one there, okay? And of course, the last one is at the top. Okay, so now let's look at page 85, and pages 85 and 86 were important for you to do because this is really what your math test is going to look like. Some of the numbers and names might be changed, but this is basically what it looks like. So let's look at number one. Jose writes an equation. The sum is an even number greater than 14. So be careful here. Look at the problem. The sum is an even number. Okay, well, if we just stop there, when we look at our answers, there's an even number, that's 12. And there's an even number, that's 16. But wait, there's more. It has to be greater than 14. Well, there are two numbers here greater than 14. 15 and 16, but only one of them is even. So the correct answer for this is C. Okay, and I'm sorry, the question was, which equation does Jose write? Okay, the answer is C. Number two, Jen has two rows of apples. 
with four apples in each row. Which equation shows how many apples Jen has in all? Well, what I would do here, and I think you should also, is just on a piece of paper, draw this out. Two rows of, with four apples. Two rows of apples with four apples in each row. Okay, there's my array. Now, which equation matches that? Hopefully, you came up with C. Okay, there are two rows of four, so it's four plus four. The next part, number three, says choose yes or no to tell if the sum in the equation is an even number. That's really important. If the sum in the equation is an even number. So for the first one, it says three plus four is seven. Is that even? If you're not sure, you just draw it out. One, two, there are three sets of two. Oh, but there's one sticking out up there. And when we see something like that, or when we see a doubles fact, it's odd. I'm sorry, a near doubles fact. If we see a near doubles fact, it's odd. Three plus four is a near doubles fact. The next one, five plus five equals 10. Well, one, two, three, four, five, two groups of five. That is a doubles fact, and doubles facts are always even, always. Okay, the next one, seven plus six equals 13. Is that an even number? Well, again, we could just draw it. I've got six white squares and seven white squares next to them. Okay, that looks like a near doubles fact, which means it is an odd number. So we're going to put no, because it's not even. Now for the next one, 9 plus 7 equals 16. Well, 9 plus 7 isn't a doubles fact. It's not a near doubles fact. So you could try something like this. Okay, this, remember this is a bar diagram. And you could just keep counting. You could do one here and then one there. Okay, so one, two, there's three, four, and keep going until you get to the number 16. Okay, and you'll find out that there's there will be eight marks in each box. Okay, which means the two parts are even. So nine plus seven is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. That's an even number. So you would click, you would uh, circle in the yes, fill in the circle for yes. Then number four, Will has three rows of trees in his yard. Each row has four trees. How many trees in all? Draw a picture to show the array of trees. Then write an equation for your picture. Okay, we have to do all of this. Well, there's my array. I've got three rows, and each row has four trees. And yes, it has to look this way, okay? You don't have to make red circles. You could just make it all dots, okay? But it's got to be arranged in this way, okay? And then write the equation. Now, it's very important to notice this. There's one blank, two blanks, three blanks for add-ins. Okay, so what are we going to do? Hopefully, you have four. Oh, my, my four is not looking too good. Sorry about that. Plus four. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, plus four. And three fours equal 12. Okay, four plus four plus four equals 12. And we have to go down to the bottom. There are 12 trees in all. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the other page. Eighty-six. Okay. So number five, how many squares are shown? Is the number even or odd? Draw a picture to show how you know. Now, some people got a little confused because they accidentally counted a square twice. 
what I think you should do if you have something like this is number it. There's number one, there's number two, and go on and on like that. Okay? And if you count them all, you will find that there are seven squares. Okay? Is it even or odd? It's odd. Okay, how do you know? Because we have one extra one there. Okay, so you would have to write that this is odd. Okay, because we can't show it in groups of two. That's the important thing to remember. We can't show it in groups of two. Now let's look at number six. Ben has eight pennies. Look at each equation. Choose yes or no to tell if Ben can use the equation to make an array with his pennies. Now the important thing to note here is choose yes or no Okay, to tell if Ben can use the equation to make an array. That's what's important. So for the first one, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Yes, we can make an array with that. 5 plus 3 equals 8. No, it equals 8, but we can't make an array with the numbers like that. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Yes, we can do that. All doubles facts and repeated addition can do this. 6 plus 2 equals 8? No. Okay, so remember the key is, can we make an array? Okay, now let's go down to number 7. Becky drew this bar diagram to show two equal groups can make 14. Part A says draw a picture to show what the question mark stands for. Well, here we have a bar diagram. Okay, and the whole number, the big number, is at the top. And we need to figure out what two parts equal 14. Okay, and look at what look at what the problem says. Two equal groups. Equal groups. That's talking about a doubles fact. Okay. So you can just, if you know your doubles facts, this is not going to be hard at all. Okay. Or what you can do is make two equal stacks and keep going until you reach the number 14. Okay, so for example, you might do something like this. One, and then go over to the other side and make a two. And then go back here to the left side again and make a three. Okay, and then go back to the right side and make a four. And eventually, when you get to the top, you'll reach 14, and you'll come up with two equal groups. So, what does the question mark stand for? 7 plus 7 equal 14. Okay, it's just our doubles fact. And we could put 7 counters or 7 Cheerios or 7 coins in uh, seven connecting cubes on one side and seven on the other side. And if we added them up, we'd get 14. Now part B says, change the 14 to 16 in the bar diagram. What does the question stand for now? Well, it's eight because eight plus eight equals 16. Okay, so if you know your doubles facts, you won't have any problem here. Okay, draw everything out if you need to. You can use, even though it's a test, you can use your counters. You can use all of those things. It's not a problem. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this review. The math test is tomorrow. For today, you have no other math work uh, just study this, review it, and uh, be prepared for tomorrow. And let me know if there are any questions. The end.